Hey, very fresh. It is the 21st of September, 2019. And uh, I'm going to attempt here to share with you some incredibly interesting things that have been shown to us here in the last few days. Since we last spoke about how the wars begin with these attacking and sinking of the ships over and over again. And the fact that we have the Abraham Lincoln is in the Persian Gulf right now. Okay, The Truman, the SS Truman, is slated to be deployed in the fall, that's the best they give us, to basically replace the Abraham Lincoln, which is nearing the end of this deployment that it's on. Okay. Now, the Truman is currently being refitted, refueled, you know, fixing some issues and what have you. The Truman's actually a much newer ship than the Abraham Lincoln. And Trump just saved it from decommission in April of this year. You got to see this stuff. They reversed the course on decision to scrap the Truman. This is just going back to April. So the Truman, now we were talking about all the ships and everything that our attack to get us into war, right? Harry S. Truman. The S in Harry S. Truman stands for ship. Can you believe that? It actually stands for ship and Solomon. And we can look at these things in Harry's little biography here in the early years. Let's see here. I just want to show you these things. It's important. Early life and career. His, the S in his name honors his grandfathers, Anderson Ship Truman and Solomon Young. Just wrap your mind around this stuff. Ship, the Truman, okay? So we have Ship Solomon Truman. True man, trusty man. Trump, T-U-R-M-P. Truman, T-R-U-M-A-N. The 33rd president who only became the 33rd president because of the death of the 32nd roosevelt so you can almost look at it as though he were raised to the 33rd president being raised is the third degree of freemasonry and it's literally a death and resurrection ritual that's what it is so truman he assumes the office of president after roosevelt's death and literally 116 and 19 days later, he drops the first A-bombs on civilian populations. A giant blood fire sacrifice on a biblical scale. Never before seen by man since Sodom and Gomorrah. Fire from heaven. That's what they did. And Truman himself wrote, We have discovered the most terrible bomb in the history of the world. It may be the fire destruction prophesied in the Euphrates Valley era after Noah and his fabulous ark. He understood what they had in their hands and they used it. Unbelievable. And you can find Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed in Genesis 1924. Genesis 19 is very interesting. It happens that Truman was literally serving as a judge in Missouri in 1924. <laughs> and all these other scriptures relating to Sodom, the two witnesses, that comes into play as well. The Ark of the Covenant after Noah and his fabulous Ark. These are two different Arks, but they represent the same thing. It's talking about Noah, the Noahide laws, and then the laws of God, the Ten Commandments. So a Truman dropped the first A-bomb on August the 6th, 116 days into office. And he dropped the second one on the 9th, 119. Isn't that just interesting? Several interesting things here. Donald Trump was born literally 44 weeks and 4 days after the dropping of the first biblical blood fire sacrifice ever by man. You understand that the severity of this and Trump is played into this he, he it's baked in the cake he was also born exactly 700 days a year and 11 months 23 months 
a hundred weeks exactly before Israel declared its independence. This is Trump. Why is that important? Because Truman was the president, the 33rd, that recognized Israel when they declared their independence. In fact, he recognized Israel 11 minutes after they claimed their independence. Let me just show you exactly what he did during the recognition of Israel. Okay? As Truman recognized the state of Israel on May 14, 1948, 11 minutes after it declared itself a nation. Why would they put 11 minutes after? Why wouldn't they put at 10.15 on May 14th? or whatever time it was. It's because it's coded in there. It's baked in the cake. 11 minutes after they declared their independence. When did they declare their independence? This is Israel's declaration ceremony at 1600 hours. Ben-Gurion banged the gavel and they declared their independence. 1600 hours is the equivalent of 4 p.m. Subtract seven hours to the Eastern Standard Time United States and you got 9 a.m. Truman recognized Israel at 9.11 a.m. Unbelievable. But check this out. Trump, Truman, Trump, he moves the embassy and he proclaims Jerusalem the eternal capital of Israel on the 6th of December, 2017. Exactly 69 years six months, and 23 days later, right? It was the eve of the 76th anniversary of Pearl Harbor, which was one of the false flags that got us into World War II, which Truman ended up dropping firebombs on people, supposedly to end the war. It's all just evil, you guys. But he claims Jerusalem, the capital, on the 6th of December. Now get a load of this. He actually signed that proclamation at 1.19 in the afternoon. Just look at this. Whitehouse.gov Trump's statement on Jerusalem, December 6, 2017. God bless America. The proclamation is signed. End. 1.19 p.m. You can't tell me that that isn't a supernatural power and principality plan. You know what I mean? It's been going on forever. You gotta wake up to it. Come to the truth of Jesus because this stuff will devour you any other way. Truman. Okay, he authorized what became NASA. He separated the Air Force and the Army, and subsequently it became NASA. Why do you think they called that movie The Truman Show? You understand? Truman. who personally knew Admiral Byrd, who personally supervised Operation Fishbowl, who personally supervised Operation Paperclip that brought in the Nazi scientists and the lead Nazi rocket scientist put Psalm 19.1 on his headstone. Give me a break. And then Trump comes along and he creates Space Force. I gotta tell you, man, Trump and Pence, they surely do love them some NASA. As in, NASA. Deceit. The Trump Show. Just amazing stuff, you guys, that connect all together throughout this whole thing. The Trump, the Truman, the A-bombs, the whole thing. I mean, it really does. I think that the USA may be the ones to face the A-bomb, so to speak, being used on us. You do reap what you sow. Unbelievable, man. Truman was a huge Freemason. I mean, this guy was a lifelong Grand Master of Missouri Grand Lodge for 30 years. 
Give me a break. And Trump is a Jesuit schooled Mason. He's a billionaire actor, tentacles everywhere, but very, very closely tied to the Talmudic Kabbalah Chabad Jews, which are bringing in the Noahide laws. And they're looking to create a mutual aid treaty with Israel, which is not good. And Netanyahu will not attend the UN this week in New York City. He was scheduled to speak on the 26th, the day of the sacrifice. Interesting that the election, the turnout was 69.4. Huh. No government right now. No king. Micah 4.9. It's so many interesting things to go along with this, you guys. And of course, we have the Sanhedrin, 70 nations, beginning on the day of creation anniversary, right? When he separated the waters from the waters, the light from the dark, the seed. And they're seeking to make a covenant with many as in Daniel 9.27, on 9.27, to bring in the Noahide laws. I saw this article here, that this universal prayer and non-Jewish sacrifice is going to cancel out the war of Gog and Magog, if you can just wrap your mind around this stuff. So they're going to hold this Mount of Olives sacrifice, which is non-Jewish. And remember what God said in Isaiah 1, First chapter of Isaiah, verse 11. I delight not in blood of bulls, lambs, and goats. This is absolutely fascinating to me. Ron Wyatt discovered the ark, okay? If you don't know about Ron Wyatt, go look into it. January 6, 1982 to the 26th of September, 2019. is exactly 13,777 days. I see God's perfection. I see the rebellion manifestation, the blood of Christ on the ark, according to Ron Wyatt. And it all fits. It fits perfectly. The witnesses, the two witnesses, the spirit, the water, and the blood in 1 John 5, 8. These are the three that bear witness in earth. Okay? The ark of the covenant is going to come forward and that the blood is going to act as a witness as well as the Ark itself, the Ark of the Covenant, the blood, the water, the witnesses. It's just amazing to me. And it brought to recollection 717. You guys remember all the 717 connections that so many people were getting? And it still hasn't gone away. That's still in play. But if we go from 717, July 17th, to September 23rd, 923, it's exactly 69 days, nine weeks and six days. Christ was on the cross, nine, two, three. You see what I'm saying? This is just all so amazing to me. And the Ark of the Covenant, God's throne, the Ten Commandments, and they are not grievous. It's amazing how it's in 1 John 5, 3, 153. The two witnesses, the two olive trees, the two candlesticks, all of this stuff just fits together, but I personally can't piece it together for you. I just know these things are brought to us spirit-led, and so I write them down. The two olive trees, the two candlesticks, all these things, the cherubims in the temple over the Ark of the Covenant were made of olive tree in Solomon's temple. You see what I'm saying? Harry, Solomon, I pray that this makes sense because it's all about the blood of Christ. It truly is. The blood of animals, God does not delight in. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 